Grandma DC here. What have I been doing? Trying to stay busy at home and away from the COVID virus, <laughs> like everyone else. Well, I saw the most beautiful, I think it's pronounced pilated, woodpecker today. And I got some film footage of it, except for this man here, who decided to get on my lap while I was filming and do the hula hoop. What is it with you and the hula hoop? He was just hooling away the whole time I was trying to film that bird. And I was talking on the phone to somebody and I just threw the phone down and we were on the speaker and I'm like, hold on, I gotta try to film this through a dirty window. Zoomed in as I could get, <laughs> which always makes it shaky. But I'm gonna try to show that to you a little later. The baby quail are doing great. Let me show you how their boy, are they growing, what, a week old now? They've already got feathers and everything. Why are you licking me? What is it? Why are you licking me? Creepy. I've been out trying to fix my chicken pen. One of the chickens fell through the floor. That had to be a shocker in the middle of the night, I bet. Well, I'll show you. Lots going on. Hang on. There's one of them. That's old spot there. Hi, Peep Peeps. Come on out. You got plenty of food. Why are you expecting me to feed you some more? Here. Look how big we're getting. We got feathers. We're looking like birds. See, and occasionally we even try to fly. You gonna talk to me? Peep, peep. <laughs> there is a pretty one. Yeah. And we got the new warmer that they can get under. I like this a lot better than the light. I got the topper for it. They get underneath there and they get all cozied up. Pretty nice. A lot safer. There he is, Woody Woodpecker. Oh, wow. You don't see those very often. A pilated Woodpecker. He's so far away and I'm so zoomed in, my camera is shaking. Oh, he's beautiful. Scud, get off my lap. I've got it zoomed as far as I can get it just to get this photo. He's pe pecking on a tree. Oh, he's beautiful. Wait till you see this. Oh, well, I'm excited to see it. Mother will be, too. Mom likes these big pilated woodpeckers. Uh-huh. I can't get... Scud keeps jerking around on my lap, and I keep... Hold still, Scud. There we go. Oh, oh, nice. He turned around. That is something you don't see very often in Missouri, for sure. I don't know if they're anywhere else, but boy, here they're rare. He's eating on a dead tree limb. Oh, really? Uh-huh. He's after bugs. These are the ones you hear sometimes far off in the distance. You know, clunk, 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 clunk happen on the trees. Uh, are they the ones that makes a real loud noise? Yes. Scud. Okay. I give up. You can see the remnants of uh, quail shells here on my couch. I guess who did that? That would be little Miss Maggie who likes to steal quail eggs and eat quail eggs and get into the trash and poop on furniture. Yeah, now we know why they got rid of Miss Maggie it's so cheap. <laughs> If she wasn't cute, that's right, if you weren't so cute, you'd be back in the pan. I forgive you because you're cute. Terrible. You're surviving on the halo syndrome. <laughs> She'll grow up and grow out of it, I hope. In the meantime, we just got to keep a door shut. Right, Maggie? <laughs> Bart is enjoying breakfast. Or is that lunch? I think it's lunch. Here's the old quail. They're laying about five eggs a day. I love this cage, by the way. Except that the eggs roll out down here at the bottom, and uh, somebody, besides Maggie, too, gets the eggs. <laughs> we'll be moving these guys out when the others get old enough to come in here. And they'll be in there, and they will be with the others in this cage. Pretty cool, though. They're really fascinating birds. The eggs are delicious. Uh, Scud? That would be... No? 
out. Come on. Let's go. Horace. So Jennifer contacts me the other day and said that someone in my town had a uh, chicken coop for sale, cheap, and her and her husband have a truck, so they went and got it for me. And uh, then yesterday I helped her build a pig pen. And the whole time we were out there in the freezing rain building this pen, I thought, thank heaven for the carnivore diet. If it, that's right, Horace. If it wasn't for me being on the carnivore diet this last year, the pain in my hips and joints, I would have never been able to help her build that pig pen. So I was really glad I've done this. Have I had some carbs lately? Yeah, a little bit. But uh, I'm taking it easy on the bat. All right, bad dog. I hope that rooster kicks your bow hunky butt. Scud still does not like the rooster or the white chickens, and he is determined to get in here and fight with them. Scud, I'm going to have to deal with this. Horace, get him. He's not going to do it while I'm watching, and boy, am I watching. So are you. We're all watching you, Scud. Here's my new one. I haven't got it fixed yet, so it's not up and running. My oldie that I've had for a long time. And then, of course, the original that I had a friend help me build that <laughs> has all the Saramas in it. I said out. Out. I had to get my stick after him. Ugh. Henri. Oh, he can't help it. He's just stupid. I know, Betsy. So the white chickens are doing good. I decided to let Horace and the other one out for a little while. You guys can roam around. So I've been trying to clean up the bottom of this house. And when I looked inside, I've already got some stuff laid down in here. The floor had fallen out <laughs> of my hen house. I'll bet that was a shocker to one of the chickens when she fell through. Uh, the cardboard is temporary until I can get someone to cut me some boards. So uh, that's all the excitement today. And Jennifer loaned me a live catch trap, so we might be trying to catch birdseed raccoon. Uh, might get that set up today. We'll see. Something to do while we stay home and try not to come in too much contact with other people. Yes, I'm not really scared about it. I figure what will be will be. But uh, being a little cautious, is, it's okay. It's only human nature, right? No sense in going out to the casino or anything. Well, we'll see what it does to the economy. Weirdly enough, anything I invested in, which was like pennies here and pennies there, is up. Maybe I'm a genius and I don't know it. <laughs> Just lucky. All right, guys. Like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. And if you like, you can click on my funny face, go to my homepage, and donate down in the corner to PayPal. That's all that's happening here in the Midwest. I gotta go talk to a dog. See you later. Hatching egg update. I will probably be taking the ones that are due to hatch on the 18th out today and putting them in the still incubator so they can rest before they hatch. And we've still got the store-bought ones that we got from eBay. The... Uh, ones are supposed to be like, oh, all kinds of showgirls and silkies and frizzles. Oh, they're supposed to be all kinds of pretty. But these are just my plain Sarama eggs, and we'll take them and put them over in the still incubator, and we'll see on the 18th if any of them hatch. Pork cooking in the oven, chaffle on top for lunch. <laughs> Made with two eggs. A couple of tablespoons of pork rinds and cheese, shredded cheese. Yum. Perfect. 